morning. I am making some persimmon bread. I'm folding in my raisins and walnuts here. And I have this recipe that I took, took out of this book here. And what I did was take this apple butter recipe and I'll show you a shot of it in case you want to try it. And what I did was I just changed the apple butter to persimmon pulp. And um, so that's what I'm doing. And it looks like it's going to be pretty good. But I will put all of the, I'll put the recipe into the recipe builder and I'll let you know how many points per slice this is. Hey everybody, good morning. It is, what is this, Tuesday morning and I'm just getting going early in the morning. Um, now today's like a regular food day today, so I'm not really supposed to be, um, I wasn't planning on smoothing or, you know, just doing my fruit and veg day. Um, but I actually have some leftover from yesterday, from last night that I didn't drink. Um, and so I was gonna have that when I came back from the gym and I didn't end up doing that. Um, so what I decided to do was go ahead and have it this morning for breakfast. So this is half of the juice that I made last night, which was the Tropical Sun Juice. Um, it's in my last vlog. Um, but, uh, and that was zero points anyway, so it's zero points today, it's half of zero. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm making some persimmon bread in the oven right now. And so I might have a slice of that when I'm done with this juice. We'll see, I'll let you know. All right, here's my lunch today. I'm having some soup with a little bit of ham in it and I've got beans and an LA wrap. So I'm thinking it's about four points, uh, but I'm gonna double check with my soup and then I'll post it up. All right, I'm gonna follow up my lunch with a little dessert, a little scoopable apple pie for one point because of the light Cool Whip on top. All right, here is my dinner plate. I have, I was watching Lisa's Country Kitchen earlier and Lisa was talking about how she grew up having salmon and eggs and I had been thinking about that and I had some wild caught salmon that I cooked and it was just sitting in the fridge and so I made it with a couple of eggs here. I've got my steamed broccoli, my persimmon bread with the walnuts and raisins, some fresh grapes and apples. And so my plate for dinner here tonight is going to be three points because that's what the bread is. Um, other than that, I believe everything is zero. everybody good morning it is Wednesday morning and um, I just checking in uh, today we have to uh, give haircuts to everybody all the boys and then I got to take them all to the dentist so it's gonna be kind of a busy morning um, but I wanted to check in with you about how I was feeling today I'm back to my I want to call it a cleanse day because it's like um, it's just easier that day if I, if I say cleanse day you know because fruit, veggie, nuts and seeds, you know what I mean? Maybe salads, that kind of thing, it gets a little too long. So I'll just call it a cleanse day. Um, but anyway, um, so how do I feel? Now last night, I, <laughs> I was kind of bored. My hubby and I were sitting on the couch, we were watching movies or something and, and um, I, there are those chips called Ricochonis, and one of the kids gave bought those at the dollar store for my husband at Christmas and they become kind of a staple around here my husband loves them um, and once in a while I have some but um, you can have like 24 of those for four points which is not bad I mean they're very airy you know but they have a real salty saltiness it's like salt and lemon uh, flavor and so I get in the mood where I really like pickles and I really want something that's like salty and you know bitter like that and so I had some last night and I'm pretty sure I had 24 so I took the whole four points last night for those and I knew I shouldn't because now my salt is kind of like you know it's kind of messed up in my body it'll hold more water today but that's okay um, I had them last night obviously I see that it's kind of a weakness those little ricochonis <laughs> anyway I just have to deal with that um, but 
uh, how am I feeling besides that um, I really found myself missing the cleanse day another cleanse day another you know fruit and veg day but um, so I'm glad it's here um, I noticed yesterday that my tummy was able to hold less food before getting really full and satiated. The one real meal that I had yesterday, the beans and ole wrap and some soup was it for me. And then later on in the evening, I tried to have like a regular meal with the salmon and eggs and a little bit of broccoli and some fruit. And so what I found myself doing was just only really wanting to have the fruit to crunch on uh, the apples and grapes and I only had like three bites of the eggs and salmon which was kind of it kind of stuck because what I really wanted to do was I really wanted to bump up on my protein yesterday since today I knew it was going to be, you know, pretty short. I wasn't going to be having anything like that and um, my appetite totally shut down and I just, you know, couldn't eat anymore. And then later in the evening is when I took out those ricochones and those are like nothing. Those are just like salt, you know, and I, did, I wasn't hungry. I was just eating those out of habit. But um, so I'm going to kind of be on my guard about those. Maybe I'll just eat a pickle next time. I don't know. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you too. Yesterday morning, I actually got on the scale early yesterday morning um, after the first cleanse day and um, I was down 0.6 pounds which was like whoa that's awesome I just just one day that's groovy so apparently you know though I know the water is the first thing again you know but I mean it's flushing and it's doing great so um, for those of you who are wondering whether or not it makes a difference on the bathroom visits yes it really does it really really does and so that's another reason why I think um, you know my abs and my my intestinal area is flatter because um, there's a lot of that going on so but it's not like you know it's not like you're sick or something it's just like it's natural I mean it's you know I've heard before I mean not to give be too, too much TMI but you know I heard before if you just do like fruits and veggies you know nuts and seeds what goes in comes out and it's just that's it you don't like have to wait a day or two days or whatever it's just things just move you know and, and it's kind of a lot more natural but anyway okay so moving on moving on let's move out of that zone um, I'm feeling really good so um, I will be drinking a lot of water today to help try to flush things because I what, what I'm hearing is that you know when you drink a lot of smoothies and stuff like that it's good to drink w with a lot of water so that you could flush your body and um, so that's what I'm doing today it's another cleanse day just checking in with you and uh, I will see you later or in another video hey everybody okay before I let you go I wanted to let you know what smoothie I was making this morning for breakfast and this is it it's called a grape pear this is the recipe in case you want to try it and I'm going to add water and ice to this here's the stuff I'm going to peel this orange use a banana this one looks kind of green so what I'm going to end up doing is I have frozen bananas I'm going to take one out of the freezer and add it I've got my cup of grapes my pear and I picked this a couple days ago so it looks a little wilty but I'm going to use it says a cup of greens so I'll probably put in just a little bit more of that and I'll put it all in the blender and whip it up and that's my breakfast. And I'm counting zero all points. Right, and there's my frozen banana in there looking kind of brownie. Um, as you can see, it has filled up the entire thing. So this is going to be whipped up and taken with me on the way to the dentist. And here we are. I've got these two things. I'm gonna be drinking this this morning and then drink, just drinking it and having it as the day goes on. All right, it looks like we got a grocery delivery today and I did order a produce box, but I gotta go, so I'll show you what's in there in the next okay, video. So just to recap, um, on the smoothie this morning, um, my husband is going with us to the dentist, and I just gave him a drink, and he said, "This is the best one ever. Best one so far." So <laughs> I highly recommend this one. I hope you can make it. Um, and I really do recommend also putting your banana, your nice sweet banana, um, in the freezer beforehand. So when you cut it up and you put it in, it really cools down the smoothie and adds, um, it's cold, you know what I mean? And it just makes it better. Anyway, all right, I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.